to another sparking zero video today i'll be showing you guys how to use like all the defensive maneuvers in sparking zero by that is like the sway basically like i said all the counters i'm gonna show you guys the dash that i did in the last video which is pretty much what you do is you hold the dash button and you click circle so you oh, basically l2 and you're holding a circle and you gain a lot of distance and also you can do it to get towards them and you just whoop you just mix them up pretty much like that <clears throat> okay so basically for the meat and potatoes of the video oh for that you have to time it too as well for the counter thing i'm gonna see if i can put that in here too he's giving me back shots pause that's a defensive counter and i think with the with the sway the sonic sway you have to do it like every third hit like that so basically it's every third hit by the way, you can counter that too. Let me do the Sonic Sway, bro. You have to time it too, I think. You can also counter a counter. Oh yeah, by the way, how you turn the camera around, you just turn, you just angle the camera pretty much. That's how you turn it around fast. So you don't get back shots like this. Pause. Okay, so yeah, that's how you use Sonic Sway. You just hold the block button and you click triangle. You can counter this too, by the way. You can counter that too. I'm gonna show you guys all. So this is how you do it. Basically, it's the same thing. You just, bro. Okay, so yeah, see. Boom. You, you can just counter it. Now, a lot of this is going to take time to, like, master because, like I said, when you play online, it's, like, different. But it's basically the counter move. And I'm pretty sure it's the, you just use the counter move that's on, like, the... Like, you can throw a punch and then counter it like that. But like I said, it's gonna take time for you to learn this stuff because yeah, the the timing is very different online. Especially it depends on who you're playing. So you do have to watch out for that. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to deflect like key attacks and I think you can do ultimates too. We'll have to see. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now you, you pretty much can deflect anything in the game. You can counter anything. I think like a couple things that you can't counter. <clears throat> but it's, it's very straightforward. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, use your uh, Gallic gun, brother. So basically, actually no, it's the same. Shoot, shoot the Gallic gun, bro. Oh my, God. all right, bro. Maybe now you shoot it. See, I be, I'm, I'm trying to click it in time. Remember, you guys have to click it. Like it's basically, and here he comes. Why does he got to get up on me? So that's basically how you do it, okay? It's, it's basically, like I said, it's the counter button, okay? It's basically all the counter button, but you do have to have some stocks to do it. I think it's two, it might be three. You'll know if you get hit by it in the game if you don't click it right. Sorry, not sorry. But I think that may conclude the video. Like I said, it's basically just triangle circle. A lot of people don't use the counters like they should. Or maybe they just don't have enough stocks to do it. I don't I don't know. And also with the vanishing, bro. Let me see if I can find out how to do it on here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys one more time how to dodge the Gallic gun. Yeah, I actually click the key blast. Hold on. Sonic Sway. Uh-huh. Bro, you gonna shoot the Gallic gun or what, bro? Oh, okay. So maybe it's not every third hit. I think you have to click it at the right time. And you just, like I said, you just count. Oh, okay. Okay, nice one, Kakarot. Nice one, Kakarot. Let me go. Let me show you guys a tip, too. Like, just in case you... I try to counter it. All right, but this, this is the easy way to get your ultimate out. Now you dash behind them. And then you... You, you dash... I'm behind him. So you dash behind him. And then you. Then you use your ult. Easy. Like a lot of people are complaining about how the ult doesn't come out automatically. But you have to wait. You can't just hold the button. Because they're going to get stuck in animation for a while. So you just. Like I said. You just do that. You can wait. You can also do a combo where you fly behind him. And smash him if you hold the analog stick down. While you're hitting him like this. Oh my god. I wish you. Like that, and he's basically stuck on the ground. He's not gonna be able to turn around. See, and I think if you get them like point blank range, they can't really guard it or anything. So yeah, I'm now I'm gonna try one more time, one more thing for you guys. The vanishing, the vanishing, like the vanish after, like you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And I won't put it on super because I'm like a pro at vanish. Okay, let's see if we can get him to vanish. Let's see if we can get him. See if we can get him to vanish real quick. 
you can combo out of this too, by the way. All right, so I don't I don't know how to make him like counter counter like like you know how you swing at somebody and they just keep teleporting and you keep teleporting and you keep swinging at them. I don't know how to make him do that, but basically they do that. Basically, all you do is whenever you see them about to swing, you just click circle like right when they're about to hit you, and the timing can be off. Like I said, the timing can be off when you're playing against an online player because you know it's online and you have the lag. Obviously, even if they do have a green bar, it's gonna be some sort of lag because you're not playing right out of your like game system, you're not playing local. But anyway, anyway. This is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. By the way, if you made this far in the video, please consider liking and subscribing because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So this is what I have to show you guys. This is, you grab. Okay, so I don't know if it's the same on like the standard controls, but on classic, you just double tap X. Now, I don't know why they do like that slow grab animation and you can actually you, you can combo out of the grab. Yeah, I, I'm like you have some characters that do like the slow grab animation. And then you have the ones that do the fast one. I'm pretty sure Trunks has a fast one. Okay, yes, Trunks has a fast one. I don't. I guess they have to nerf like the other characters somehow. But yeah, you just chop, chop, chop. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. If you guys want to see more, well, I don't. I don't really know what I can show you guys. Maybe the basic mechanics on how the the movement works in the game, I guess. But other than that, I don't really see any need for. It. And the game's been out for two weeks, so I figured why not make it now, even though that's that's pretty pretty late when the games come out. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, please please subscribe and also leave a like because, like I said, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. That would be very nice if I could hit that, just get like a big blow up on the channel. And also check out some of the content on the channel. I will be posting more spark and zero probably rank but yeah catch you guys in the next one peace